Hello, everybody. I'm Midnight. And I'm a ghost. That was weird. Anyway, we are well, playing. Well, I thought about it because in my head, I'm like, I'm a ghost. I'm like, wait a minute. They can't hear me say I'm a ghost. <laughs> anyway, we are playing Jack and Daxter. And in the last episode, we completed the jungle. I'm running so fast, the blue eco couldn't catch up to me. Today, we're going to do the beach. I was going to originally do Misty Island, but we just recorded six straight episodes of Dark Souls, and I'm tired of gray atmosphere right now. So we'll do something a little bit sunnier and shinier. I am very happy we played a lot of Dark Souls. He's addicted. It's a fun game, dear. You should try it. I don't like it. How do you know you don't like it if you haven't tried Ouch. it? Ouch! Because I just got blowed up. Basically, what they want you to do is, like, stand by these boxes. Shut up, Daxter. So what's dropping those things on you? There's a cannon up on that tower. Oh. Oi. I'm gonna die. Because I thought, like, that bird was dropping shit on you. No. That bird is related to that power cell that's floating right there, but I'm going to get it in a second. Ah! That was a really good shot on their part. It was. It landed right on top. And one last one. Because like, you can do this on your own when you go up there, but I don't feel like doing that yet. So I'll just make them do all the work. That makes sense. So when we go over to this power cell... What an asshole. Yeah. We're actually going to do something a little bit more fun than what he said. Their intention is for you to go over to the little island and... Shut up. Um, like, punch it, and then it'll spit the power cell out, and then you have to beat it to get the power cell. Yeah. I got a better idea, and you're going to like it. I'm not going to spoil it yet. Maybe. Yes. I hate birds. <laughs> what? I wanted to get a bird, but okay. When? And what kind? I was just kidding. Well, like, I, I find birds kind of fascinating, but also terrifying. I would not want to own a bird. Like, it would smell really bad. It'd be really loud. So are sugar gliders, but you want to own them. They're not nearly as loud. They are at night. They are not. Oh, mine were. Yours were. Yours were not very well behaved. Shut up. Anyway, since we we wouldn't be able to do this unless we had opened the pipeline um, in the Forbidden Jungle. So that's why I did that part first. That and it's, you know, Let's right there. The yes, Daxter, that's the point. Well, that was the, probably the easiest power cell I've ever seen us get. Well, technically no, because you had to do all the steps to unlock the blue vents. Hmm. You know, it's sort of all connected. Anyway, so... So, I'm actually lost. Why are we collecting power cells again? Uh, we're collecting power cells to power the machine that Kira is making to get north so that we can get to the guy who studies Dark Eco to try to restore Daxter. So this whole game is about fixing Daxter. Yes. Honestly... It's almost like Daxter is more of a main character than Jack is when you really look at yeah, it. Yeah, Jack's just kind of like a tool. Jack is a mannequin. Jack is something that you try to, you know, put your own feeling into. These are really hard to get. Ooh. Until I say it. Are you going to kill the bird? Yes. Kill the bird. Blow it up. Blow up the bird. This is what I like about Naughty Dog. Is there yep. very... Did you see it? You see the power cell sitting where the bird was? I wish it was a little bit more dramatic, but you're technically not supposed to be able to do that. Really? That was, yeah, that's a speedrunning tactic. Huh. I like how Naughty Dog is keen to this kind of stuff. How, like, you get over there and you're like, fucking bird stole my power cell. Take this bird. You and know, then, in most games, it would just be like the bird just sits there. And yeah, like, the bird huh? is invulnerable. But Naughty Dog's like, yeah, fuck that bird. Seriously. Right in the asshole. We hate him, too. With a bomb. And... God damn it. Collection time. Give me that. I like his pose. <laughs> okay. So. Scout fly over here. One that I have missed before. Because it's just kind of... It, you know, there's really no reason to be over here unless you 
swam over here, but they want you to go somewhere else first. Hmm. Fuck you guys. I'm done with you. You can take you that shit and go away. Bull, the you and your invincible bullshit. Yeah, like, apparently, if you hit them as they go into their shells, they just don't take dam it. damage. <laughs> not they just don't take damage. Little fuckers. God damn it. Huh. Yeah. I actually, this took me forever to figure out when I was little. Does the game anticipate that you yes, do Yes, because he even said, you know, punch those poles up. Daxter said that, but I had Isn't the, that like a... But they didn't have that in the original one. That was not a hint. Oh. Or if it was, I never heard it. Like, wouldn't this be like manipulation of the care of the ability design? No, this is it's pretty much what this is for <laughs> is to be able to push things upward because there's really no point in which you need to punch an enemy that tall unless you're a giant plant monster. Well, that's again, that was actually a speedrunning tactic because what their intention for that battle was was you jump up on the leaves that it created and then spin it. Yeah, so you know. Okay, we're not coming over here yet. We're gonna go over here. See, it's nighttime now. And even in nighttime, this game looks happier than Dark Souls. Oh yeah, the birds really fuck up the frame rate. Cause it's like tracking so many objects. So what you just have to do, I'm gonna let them sit there for a little bit. Cause there's a scout fly up here. You just have to like scare them from platform to platform. And then they'll like, somehow cause an avalanche. Huh. Now, I don't really are, know how that works. Now, are they just aesthetic or? Yeah. Yeah, like you can't interact with them. It's just when you get close to them, they fly the opposite direction. Oh, that one. Forgot where that one was. You didn't yell for the last two. Well, you told me to stop. Well, you said that you were gonna keep doing it anyway. <laughs> well, I'm, I was joking. Now I don't know what to, shit. Why am I dying so much? Because you're bad at this game. Step two. Daxter, you're an asshole. Get out of my face. I like his little quips. But I guess that's because I also grew up with this game and they used to be really funny to me because I was, you know, eight years old and everything's funny at that age. Yeah. I'm running, outrunning the blue eco. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be able to do that. We'll come up here since we didn't do so last time. Because we have more power cells to collect. Yay. Oh, yeah. We have to go get those ones on the... What are you doing? Don't text while we're playing. It's important. No, it's not. If I can't text my mother while we're let's playing, you can't text your brother. That would probably be easier, and I'm not texting him. Who are you texting? Uh, The group chat that's annoying the hell out of me. Because Tell them to go away. Tell them I said to go away. <laughs> Shut up, lady. Oh yeah, there's little dog lurkers that make me sad when I have to punch them. You hear that power cell noise? I do hear that power cell noise. I'll get it in a second. <laughs> I'm just being anal about this. <laughs> anal. Just punch that snake <gasps> out. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to expect anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ, you dick. 50 little pieces is so much to get for health. Yeah. Like, I almost never get that. It's like, imagine Zelda with that kind of logic. Yeah, <laughs> 50, uh, 50 heart pieces to get a container. That would kill me. Yeah. But, like, you don't get an extra heart, you just replenish one that you've lost. Or yeah. you can just store them for when you do lose one. Oh, you can do that with these? Yeah. That's interesting. Like, you can have all three pieces of your health meter and still have the 50 just hanging out waiting. Your healthometer. Sure. We'll call it that. health -a meter I think it sounds better that way. <laughs> it doesn't sound as fancy, because this is not a fancy game. Well... Yeah, because healthometer is how you measure how much hell. What? A healthometer? It's for measuring hell. No. Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, it is. No. Okay. So now, for some reason, they cause an avalanche. They. Okay. Like, 
ten birds fly into a waterfall and it causes an avalanche. Yeah. Oh, right. Jack and Daxter logic. They caused an avalanche. That, yes. That's not even an avalanche. An avalanche involves snow. That's yeah, like a rock, a rock slide. slide. Ah! Shit! And then Jack died. Well, yeah. Uh, later on, when it's okay for me to die, I'll show you the lurker shark that terrified me in my young age. Jeez, frame rate drops. This is the only place that it's really apparent, and I guess it's just like all the structures and, you know, all of those little green eco balloons that we have to go unclog for Samus. Yeah. Like, I think it's just tracking so much that it struggles on the Vita. Yeah. Because it's fine on the PS3, but I like my Vita version because I can take it with me anywhere. Well, good for you. I, I always told you I really want one of those... Uh the home modded the hard the, consoles. Yeah, the, ma the self-made portable consoles. Yeah. I'd love to be able to take a Super Nintendo anywhere. They actually have something like that. It's called a ding a dingo or a dingu, something like that. Yeah, They're made one. in Taiwan. And there's one for a uh, N64. Yeah, it's see, just, it, if you didn't awesome. if you didn't have these pushed up, you wouldn't be able to reach this stuff. Ah. So like it's actually a thing you have to do for 100% at least. Yeah. Which is what we're going for. Oh, yay. Well, that, I, I... The last seven episodes of Jack and Daxter are going to be you looking for two precursor orbs. No, I don't leave places until I find them. Well, then there's that whole... Con what no, the we'll, just, we'll just we'll just cut out wherever I'm just, like, running around searching. That's my plan. So, wait. So you can't collect anymore now that you have 50? No. What are you talking... Oh, Yeah. Yeah, these, like, if you walk through them, it completely replenishes your health, and oh. yeah, you won't pick up anymore. Because these are like the blue eco vents. It completely fills your green eco instead. Oh, so green eco is just health. It's yeah. not a thing you can use. No. That's interesting. Except, like, I think well, it... I see that you two have finally decided to unlock the my television again. I would offer my With a really shitty frame rate, have look so at it. Much to do, I won't waste your time. <laughs> By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a dick. And Daxter was just standing there on your shoulder like, you salty son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, that was for making the rock slide, because we decided that is not an avalanche. And I just want to make sure there's no precursor Doggos. orbs. And they're dead. Yeah, see, I'm not getting a counter anymore, because I'm just... You know, they're just going into nothingness. Okay, there's nothing else over here. So we just, so everything should be up on this top path. Let's see, how many are we missing? Just one. Oh, the, those, okay. Nine. 29. I'm bad at math when I'm not at work. <laughs> Even when I am at work, I'm pretty bad at math. I was never that great at math. I'm good at like simple arithmetic, but you know, not when I not when I've been vegging out all day. Yeah, like everything up. I was good at everything until like geometry and like basic trig. Trig didn't do much to me. Geometry, shit, didn't do much to me. It was calculus that just broke my soul. Whoa! There. Almost walked right by yeah, it. That was, that's what I was saying. Hey, too. <laughs> I forgot that was the seventh one. So. No thinking. Oh, oh he shit! Can jump. I was expecting I'm... him to just fall to his doom. Yeah, <laughs> I was expecting that too. Are you kidding me? Oh shit! Yeah, I need to be blue. Okay. I want the flat flat. You you'll love it when you see it too. I will in a second, bitch. I gotta go get bitch. some blue eco. Don't fall in the hole. Yeah, we might want to talk to the bird watcher and see if we scramble that flood flood egg. Shit! I'm stuck. Okay, managed to save and then it. Then you almost stepped off anyway. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it right this time. I got messed up by that scout fly. Otherwise, it would have been fine. Cause they give you plenty for this. Cause you know this is still the first world. They don't expect you to be trying too hard. 
You're still learning. Or, well, more like they don't expect you to to do very well. Like you're not going to be the master at this game yet. All right, I know where the other ones are. I think. Oh my! I hope the poor deer's okay. I know it's okay. Thank you. I love her hat. I want oh, that. I want it. It's a loft wing in training. I want that bird. <laughs> Come on, bird, eat him. No, he's coming with me. <laughs> that would be so cool if he could just pull him out at any point. Eggs over hard. I'm glad they didn't make like a hard boiled joke there. They yeah. could have, they totally could have. Okay, I know where some of them are, but I don't know if I can mentally map 11. So, if Jack and Daxter is Naughty Dog property, oh. and Spyro is Insomniac property, who owns Crash Bandicoot? Naughty Dog. Oh. Naughty Dog was their first, or Crash Bandicoot was their first title, actually. Why would they want to make two IPs? Because they're both the same style of game. Well, Jack and Daxter has more story to it. The first Crash Bandicoot was just like, here, go get all of these things. There is nothing wrong with that. <sighs> Don't make me have another de debate of story over gameplay. Hey, even with the greatest of story, shitty gameplay would be shitty game. And then we wouldn't play it. Because you'd have that situation where you'd be like, really want to play this game, but it sucks. Okay, so they're not up here, so I only have five more, and they're probably all together, because that's just how my life goes. Oh, I'll show you the lurker shark. You hear the heartbeat Dexter, as it's getting closer? Oh, that's what that is. I didn't know what that was. I figured something was Dumb. Like... What the fuck? Yep. It just one one hit kills you. And you and the only way to outswim it That's like is... nipper. Is like a, it's a speedrunner tactic where you like frequently tap, 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 tap the analog stick and you swim a little faster because you don't go through the whole an swimming animation. Huh. But, you know. That was totally Nipper from Banjo Kazooie. No, Nipper's the crab. Yeah. Uh, what was the shark? Chomper. I th something. No, well, the, the shark was metal. No, that's Clanker from Clanker's Cavern. I'm talking about from. Uh, Tre Treasure Trove Cove. Oh, I don't remember the Where you names. jump in the water and the music gets all Jaws-like, and then you're like, ah, ah, get me out. I'm trying to figure out where like, I Like, ask Hat missed. about it. He'll tell you. Because <laughs> Hat is the resident Banjo-Kazooie, like, you know, That's master. Aficionado. He has studied it. He has a PhD in Banjo-Kazooie. That would actually be kind of cool. Kazooism. Cause <laughs> he can speak kazoo. Banjo-Kazooism. God damn it, where are the last five? Now there's an organized religion I can get behind. <laughs> Can I almost said canoeism. <laughs> They're not down here. I got the ones that were connected to the poles. Well, may the banjo be with you and the kazooie also with you. Let oh. us eat kambokum. Oh my god, please stop. <laughs> Don't go in the hole. Am I sure I got everything up here? Would that be that would be like a scary thing to just walk in on, like an entire congregation of people just eek up, woke up. <laughs> that would be really weird. The only thing I think is maybe they're by the waterfall. Oh shit! I never noticed that. That that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty terrifying looking. That is literally the only place I haven't been is back here. So, fingers crossed, it's back here. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some cutting. Yep, th there they are. I see them. I think it's funny that... Oh, I thought you got these. No. I was going to, and then, like, I thought that there, there wasn't anything behind here and that this was just aesthetic. Okay, so, double-checking. Got all the Centiel Beach. We can pay for one of those. Uncle, or to the mayor. And we got all the ones in the Forbidden Jungle. So... That's actually a great place for us to end. It is. So once I get to land, 
Wham. swim. See, this is what I mean. If you just tap, 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 you don't go through the whole it looks like a crab. stroke. Yeah. It's just like, eh, and it sounds ridiculous. But I'm anyway, thank you all for joining us for another episode of Jack and Daxter on the PS Vita. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like and comment and all that stuff. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Because I don't have a wave animation. <laughs> bye. Bye. Whoa, did you see like Daxter just like Crabs. keeps going? Fuck you.